Hello and welcome back to my craft room. It's actually the 24th of May. I know that the May school boxes has been dispatched and is on the way um, and I haven't even used the April school box because I had this wrist injury and I have been back in my craft room for the last week 10 days but I've been having to do things that go easy on my wrist not too much kind of repetitive drawing and things so but I just thought I'll give it a go now um, see if I can just cobble something together for the challenge before the next um, box arrives so let me let me show you um, and I had this weird thing earlier on um, where everything all sorts of coincidences were pointing me towards cats one way and another <laughs> and I was bursting with ideas just before the wrist thing happened so my son made me this amazing painting with ink tents not ink tents pencils ink tents and not blocks it's like ink tents in a palette and you use it like you would use watercolour paints but obviously it's different and uh, and this is a picture of our old cat Archie now Archie was such a character I'm going to insert here the picture that this came from he's actually wearing a Christmas party hat which we made him specially <laughs> Um, I'm going to put that in here and uh, yeah so you can see what I'm going to be drawing from in a minute. This though this was my son Tom's first ever painting. He says he can't paint and draw. Um, I think I think he can. <laughs> anyway so that was wonderful and um, it was such a lovely thing to have for Mother's Day. I must get it properly framed actually. I've also just recently uploaded this to my Etsy shop. Now this is the only I've never actually tried and um, when when we lost Archie I really wanted to do a painting of him or something while I still remember doing while he's still fresh in my mind and um, but I I bottled up because I hadn't really tried drawing animals before and I didn't want to do a bad job and I just you know the moment passed and the only representation um kind of representations of him that I've done have not been realistic it's been things like this now this is a card this has just recently gone up in my Etsy shop as well just last week so it's cats it really is cats 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 at the moment I did a draw along with Casper recently illustrator named Casper um, of a cat now I did manage to do that with my poorly wrist because it was so quick and easy it wasn't too much um, too much of a strain on the wrist and then of course there was the scroller box and uh, the challenge is walk on the wild side here's the inspiration art piece and uh, also some lovely textures a furry kind of uh, animal print textures on the on the front cover of the zine as well and I had all these grand ideas I wanted to do some kind of picture of Archie um, I was gonna do a tiger camouflaged in long grasses and things I had all these ideas I'd printed off my photo references and everything and then yeah the old wrist thing put the kibosh on it I know that once the new school box comes I'm just going to want to play with that so I'm going to to make things easy on myself I'm going to have a go using the same photo reference that Tom used for this picture um, but I'm going to use the supplies in the May in the April scholar box so we got these six a set of six um what they call chromaflow I think it doesn't say it there Hang on. yeah Derwent chromaflow um pencils so the great thing about these is or one of the great things about these is you can actually rub them out we've got a rubber in the kit as well and a nice sharpener and we've got this beautiful um really fine proper brush nib with black ink unipin so here's the swatches um, or we, and of course we got this uh, drawing paper I'll be interested to try these pencils on the kind of mid-tone drawing paper and on the white so I might even do both I, I swatched the colours on both sides I think this darker side is meant to be the right side and you can see what what kind of lines you can get with the brush pen there as well so the challenge actually says walk on the wild side let's take a wander in the wilderness taking says inspiration <laughs> taking inspiration from this month's featured artist we're encouraging you to delve deep into the jungle kingdom of your imagination I don't think this necessarily means you've got to do something to do with the jungle of course get creative with textures color depths mark making and building up your line work to explore the wild side of your art work and you could interpret that in a lot of different ways um, for me I'm going to be inspired by, by my old mate Archie who really thought he was a tiger <laughs> he wasn't at all <laughs> he wasn't at all but uh, 
yeah he did think he was a king of the jungle so and i think what i like the idea of trying out all sorts of different um lines of mark making to get the kind of texture of of the fur um, I'm also going to put in here just to show you that he really did have these incredible amber eyes. I will also put in um, a couple of photos here which show you his amazing amber eyes. But yeah, so it's quite a, it's got for me, um, I, I haven't done very much at all realistic animal drawing or painting but then as I say this was Tom's first ever painting of anything so I can't really use that as an excuse can I now Tom well as a starting point for himself he used this um printable because we were doing some work with coloring sheets as well at the time so he got a big batch of this printable paper that will go through his laser printer but it's quite nice quality and you could, um, it's like a, a kind of a lightweight watercolor so it will take for him his ink tents um, paints and pencils um, and he just electronically kind of traced just an outline you can see there just an outline from that photo and he printed off a couple of spare sheets for me so um, I'm going to use that one and I also to make it easier myself because I really I have only got this evening I can't get bogged down with this I don't have time I'm hoping that my new school bots will come tomorrow and I know I'm going to want to play with it and uh, so I made things easier myself and just transferred the image onto there so I haven't got to waste time trying to get the proportions right and stuff I know I've got a good starting point I'm kind of hoping I might have time to do both to, to try it on um, the white paper as well as the darker paper and I really hope I'm going to have time to do some kind of jungle leaves and things here you'll have seen in the back that the, the actual photograph reference the um, background is just looking out the window onto the street where we used to live but I want him to look like the king of the jungle so uh, <laughs> I'm hoping I'll have time to do some jungle leaves and things but we'll see how it goes so um, keep them by me in case I need to practice colour blends and things because these pencils should blend really nicely um, so I'm all set I'm going to have the photo reference up in front of me on the screen because I think that will probably will be better quality than what I can print off so I've, I've uh, got everything set up I need to go off and get dinner ready now and then I'm going to come back after dinner and I will just do a, a speed through version of this for you and uh, put some music over it so I hope you enjoy thanks very much for watching um, and I will see you again soon well I've just gone to stop recording and realized that I never pushed start recording properly so I've just recorded this I've just drawn this whole thing and not recorded it oh a bit frustrating but hey so anyway um I need to stop now because I've kind of run out of time I think I've sort of caught something of old old Archie boy so I'm quite happy about that and I really enjoyed using um the pencils in different ways to make to, to try and get the texture of the fur um I also as well as just using this rubber to to just spot another bit now to um take the pencil away and help to give me texture i also use and highlights i also used this um double-ended eraser pencil I could just take away little small little small bits how annoying <laughs> i think it's because i've i use this um wireless mouse and it goes to sleep and i often have to click it once to um click it once to uh wake it up at another time to to actually do something so uh <sighs> annoying but anyway that's my archie at least i got around to doing one thing <laughs> the scroller box before the new one comes probably tomorrow thanks very much for <laughs> watching <laughs> nothing at all <laughs> and i'll see you again soon bye <laughs>